specifically planned for today because this pen is launching today. And if you're watching this video, you should pause it, click the link in the description <laughs> and go see the pen right away. Uh, no, don't pause it because hello, I don't want you to pause. Hello, I'm Aziza. Uh, this is the Gourmet Pens channel. Today we're playing with a pen. So this pen was sent to me by Stilo A Steel because this is a special release that they're doing and it's very much fitting for gourmet pens. So I'm very excited to share this with you. <clears throat> so this is a Leonardo Momento Zero. It is the regular size, not the giant, uh, grande. <laughs> um, I'll show you size comparison and all that. But first, let's appreciate the packaging because the packaging is very plain and simple and I really like that. I like that it's just normal packaging. I like that it's just not huge. So <clears throat> let's open it up. You get the sleeve, then you get the second sleeve, and then you get the clamshell box, which is not excessive, so I do appreciate it. There is paperwork. You see what I did there? Um, Memento Zero collection, so you get the paperwork, and it's got information about Leonardo, and um, let me go to the back where your certificate is stamped. It is limited, no, numbered. Um, limited. I don't remember the number, so I'll show you when we are on the pen. So that's the packaging. Here is the box. I've already taken the plastic sleeve off the pen, of course, because, wait, I think I'm too tall. There. Um, there we go. Is that okay with you guys? Yeah, okay. It's okay with me. Uh, <laughs> this is the pen. So let's look at this thing, because it's beautiful. I'm gonna move the box out of the way. This is the pen, it is called the Prisma. So they spent a lot of time and effort to get all of the details rainbow PVD'd and it's very cool and I really like it. So the pen is a frosted white, evenly frosted. The finial is the cone, the pointed cone and same with the back end of the pen. The clip, the center band rings, the band at the back of the pen where you can unscrew it and turn the converter knob and the nib we're not done and the converter is all this very cool rainbow prism color pvd and it's awesome i love it i love that it's not just the nib you know and the details of going through and having even like this metal piece here done is fantastic. So it is called the Prisma and it's very beautiful. I really like it because it's like the frosty white is like neutral and then all of a sudden it's like this deep PVD rainbow and it's just so cool. So the clip is very useful. It's got the rolling ball. I really like this because you can use it as a captured converter, like if you want to have like a piston type thing, or if you're like me and you just prefer to use it as a converter because it's easier to clean, like it's just so easy. It's so low maintenance and it's an awesome pen. So very comfortable in my hand. I really like the size of the Leonardo, like the Memento Zero regular size, but let's take a quick look at some of the other ones. I'm going to take that one out because I'm going to do this. So what we have here is the Pilot Metropolitan, the Momento Zero Grande, and then this is the Momento Zero Prisma. So you can see the difference. It's very, it's quite substantial. Uh, the Lamy Safari, the Estabrook SD Slim, a Jinhao X750, Twisby 580, Quebeco Sport, Platinum Preppy, and Twisby Eco. So it's a full-size pen, but not huge. So I really like the size. I think it's it's kind of like a perfect size for most people. Like it, it works for most people. So I am quite satisfied with that. So let's move those out of the way. And let's grab some paper. Making a mess. Today I'm using my Endless 
recorder notebook with regalia paper from India. And now I'm trying to remember what ink I put in here. Oh dear. I remember the first ink, but I don't remember this ink. Well, we'll figure it out. We'll see. But whatever. Um, it's a magnificent ink. Okay, that looks like... Oh, I do remember. Oh, I'm a genius. Okay, so let's do... Let's do... Wait, let me make sure I'm... Okay. This is the... Leonardo Momento Zero. I talk faster than I can write. This is the Prisma. And on the barrel, let me see. I gotta, sorry, I gotta. Uh, on the barrel, Leonardo and Stilo is steel, and it's number eight of 222 pens. So number eight is uh, my favorite number. So um, I requested number eight. Sorry, I took, a sh I, I washed my hair with like this weird, like Bond acidic shampoo or, or conditioner, I don't know. Um, so it's all frizzy and it's very humid. So anyway, nobody cares. Um, <laughs> the nib is a steel broad and it is perfect perfectly tuned, absolutely exquisite, like the perfect broad, nice round point, no skips, no hard starts, not over polished. It's just like bang on perfect. Um, in terms of ink flow, it is appropriately a wet writer. Like it's not excessively wet um, and it's not super dry or anything. And I have found that the ink flow is consistent. Like it hasn't run dry. The ink is Diamine Aqua Blue, but now that I think about it, I should put in something more rainbowy for this. I don't know what I would have done. The I used Leonardo Blue when I first inked it and was like testing it out, and I was like, no, oh, I want something more bright because it's like the blue is really nice, but it's it's a darker blue. Um, and now I thinking I should have done a rainbow. Anyway, let's look at the nib. <laughs> Enough to chat from Ziza. The nib is fantastic. It is a Jobo nib. It has, so it's the un unscroll version, so the mod the newer version. Uh, it has the Stilo A Steel logo. It's got the nib engraving on the side. And it's rainbow PVD. I mean, what more do you need? So let's do some writing. Um, what I wanted to tell you was the pen, I mean, at the time of this review, the pen is not on the website. I'm launching this just when it goes live. So I cannot tell you the exact price because I actually don't know. But, you know, if you've seen Leonardo's before, it'll give you an idea. Um, it's limited and it's exclusive to Stilo A Steel, so maybe add a little bit more. But in my experience, the Leonardo Memento Zeros are very fairly priced. So even the limited edition ones. Um, it's a beautiful writer, super comfy, really easy to hold, not slippery. Like it feels really good. It's well balanced. I honestly have no complaints. And that is one of the reasons that I have like eight of these, <laughs> eight of these. Um, it's embarrassing. It's just a great pen. And I am honored to bring this one to you. So thank you again, a huge thank you to Steel Always Steel for picking me to share this with you and, and help launch it because it's, it's, it's an honor. So I, the, the broad nib, beautiful, just beautiful. And if you are someone who likes to match your inks to your pens, you totally could because there are so many options here. So there we go. Beautiful writing performance. Just, just killer. Like no complaints at all. 
So let's do the side view and I really want to show that to you because you'll be able to see the details really nicely and then we will come back and wrap up. How beautiful is that? It looks fantastic. Close up, just fabulous. So here we go. The Stilo A Steel Leonardo Momento Zero Prisma. Um, thank you again to Stilo A Steel. I'm honored to be able to help you launch this pen and this goes into my collection. So the other one that I have right here, um, like I have another, this is the other Leonardo that I have next to it. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. What I'm trying to say is I have a lot of Leonardo's because they're just super comfy and work really well for me. So I'm very happy. Um, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope this has been enjoyable for you. I hope you learned something. I hope you want to go check them out. So the link is below. And if you enjoyed this, I would love it if you would like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the pen. Um, say hi to Steal Away Steal. I just love to hear from you and uh, that's everything. So take care, everybody. Have a wonderful, safe weekend. This is Gourmet Pens. That's me. And you can find me online on the socials as Gourmet Pens and Gourmet Pens Shop. And you can also find me on Patreon, should you wish. Oh, just a killer writer. Just so good. There we go. We'll see you guys next time. Ciao!